Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another sneaker video. This one here, I'm super excited to do the review for you guys. This was a shoe that I really, 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 really wanted. Um, and like I've said in my previous videos, I'm done paying resale for sneakers. If I miss out on release day, I'm not messing with it. Uh, I always get bad anxiety thinking like, you know, buying resale. Uh, if they're selling a fake or something like that, I do all this research and I never feel comfortable with it. Uh, and plus, I, I kind of start seeing that really paying re uh, resale for a shoe is not worth it. Uh, I even think paying retail sometimes is not worth it. And uh, now I have to be a little bit more wiser with my money and stuff like that. So I'm kind of stopping with the whole resale thing. But these were this pair right here was something I was like, you know, I really hope I do get this because this is a shoe I've been waiting for. Now you guys know I'm a huge Air Max fan and especially an Air Max 1 fan. Uh, and when they did a raffle for these, um, I, put my, I put a drawing in for Lapstone and Hammer. I never shopped with them before. I've done some raffles for them before, and I never won. And then all of a sudden, I got an email saying, "Congratulations, you won." This right here is the Air Max One Deluxe. Uh, this is the Atmos Animal Pack. I got the Air Max One. I didn't go for the 95. I'm more of a fan of the Air Max One for these. Um, as you can see, they put a little note in there, which I thought was really cool. They're really, really good people over there at Lapstone and Hammer. Uh, they always retweet people when they win the raffles and stuff like that, and they all have notes and stuff like that. So I think that's really cool. Now, first thing, when you open up the box, you get three different sets of laces, and they're not attached by the little uh, little plastic loop thing. They're just kind of free-floating up in there. Uh, so I kind of watched some videos to see like if that's how they are or what happened with that. And here is the shoe right here. This thing is crazy. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, I did an unboxing from round two when I got the Air Max 90s. And it was like an animal ID, and I really liked them, but it wasn't what I wanted. It was the Air Max One Atmos that I really, really wanted, and I just felt like I was lying to myself with that Nike ID. Um, and then these were announced that they were coming back, and I was like, man, I really hope I get them. And lo and behold, Lapstone and Hammer came through for me. Just super, super happy I was able to pick these up. These things are crazy in person. Now, to get a closer look into the shoe, uh, it's all pony hair, and there's a sticker in here somewhere that says it. So it actually says that it's dyed calf hair fur. So it's not pony hair. I thought it was pony hair, um, but it says it's actual animal fur. So that's something different. I didn't even notice that uh, until I saw a couple of videos on these. Um, I think I'm going to probably leave the black laces in there. I think those look the best. You get that gum outsole, and I love gum outsoles. And you can see that hair on it. These things are, like, the quality on this is amazing. Uh, I don't know what the numbers were on these, to be quite honest. I don't know how limited they were or what like that. I know that the 95 is going for more. I don't know if it's because it's more limited or whatnot, uh, but the Air Max one is definitely my favorite. Now it's a little bit different than the original one that released, uh, but it's not too far to where I don't want them. Uh, so when I saw that they were getting re-released and there was just minor differences to it, uh, I was not mad at all. In fact, I was hoping people would be like, oh, it's different, I don't want it. Uh, so I had a better chance of picking them up. And uh, I just got really lucky on a raffle. And I just can't say thank you enough to Lapstone and Hammer for picking me. Now these are still dead stock. I have not figured out what I'm going to wear with these to be quite honest. Uh, but super just excited. I'm just really excited I was able to pick these up. And I have them out of the box pretty much sitting on my shelf. Uh, just to look at every day. Uh, I think just think they're a really cool sneaker to look at. Uh, but I will be wearing these soon. I just need to figure out with what. But definitely one of my favorite sneaker releases of 2018. Uh, and it's even better for me now because I was able to pick it up. Uh, but besides that, like if I wasn't able to pick this up, I'd still consider this a great sneaker release for the year. Uh, just even better that I was able to grab them. So let me know what you guys thought about the Atmos pack re-releasing this year. Um, like I said, and as you can tell, I was super excited for them. Uh, and let me know if you guys were able to pick them up or which one you went for. Uh, like I said myself, I didn't even attempt for the 95s. Uh, when I got my pair, when I heard from Lapstone Hammer, I didn't even try on the Nike app. I slept through it. Uh, just super happy I was able to get them. Hey, but that is going to be it. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time.